Hey y'all, it is the Bear Thrift Machine. Today we're gonna do a Facebook Marketplace pickup, hopefully, and a what sold video over $100 on eBay, so stay tuned. Hey y'all, if you're new to the channel, my name is Julian, also known as the Bear Thrift Machine here on YouTube, and I buy stuff and flip it online for a profit for a living. So today we're going right now to a guy that says he has a whole bunch of fishing gear for $200, from a Facebook marketplace post. Uh, the thing is that he's already like changed the time on me like twice. So hopefully this goes through. I'm sticking with him because I really want this stuff. Uh, it seems like some old pen reels made in the United States and a lot of fishing poles. He said he also has like a box of old other reels which can be very valuable. So right now, the just from the pictures I can see there's well over $200 so I agreed to that price. Hopefully when I get here, there's a lot more. He says he's got a downrigger and he has like an anchor and some other fishing stuff that goes well in my area. So we will see. We'll see. Kayla's right here. Hey Kayla. Hey. All right guys, we are gonna go over the $200 fishing lot that we picked up yesterday or two days ago for $200 on Facebook Marketplace. So this is all the stuff we're gonna pan down and take a look at all the stuff that we got. So we got a whole bunch of reels, rods, more reels, more rods, some rods over there. Um, then we also got a anchor right there. And then we have like a small cannon down rigger right here. And then we did get some like vertical jigs and some lead. So really that's not that bad. These right here are gonna be the wor worth the most money. They're gonna be pen reels. Now these aren't like super high end. They're probably only gonna be worth about 40 or $50. But if you ever see that name, comp that out. A uh, pen, because they do make really good things. I know like Pen International, if they're gold, like if they, they, they look gold, they are gonna be worth a ton of money. So definitely comp that stuff out when you're out at yard sales or thrift stores. I've never really seen those in thrift stores, but mostly at yard sales. This right here is gonna be a pen reel. And you always know that this is gonna be old because it has like that, what would you call that, brown? Like a brown tint to it on the outside. This does work. And uh, these tend to not work, but people re will rebuild these. And we just sold a working one for $70. So these do sell pretty good. Uh, we get, did get three of these. Now these are like some old cheap pens and you can tell the difference. You're gonna feel the weight difference. This one's all locked up. So not a lot of, not a lot of money in this one, but the ones that have the gold spools, that's what this thing is right here. If they're made in the United States, these are gonna be worth a ton of money. Now this one's all messed up, does not work. It's destroyed. And I still will probably get like 15 to 20 bucks for this destroyed one because people love the pens made in the United States. So always look for that stuff. Then we also have a couple more that are all obviously broken and not working. But these old Zepcos right here seem to be, I did comp these out. I don't know much about Zepcos and some of these are not working, but it seems if they have a metal foot right here, right? Where it attaches to the actual fishing rod seems like it's gonna be worth more money. This one has a metal foot and see how this one has a plastic foot and this one is worth considerably more than this one. I have another one with a metal foot that's also worth a lot more, maybe about 20 to $30 versus like 10 bucks. So, but when you have a whole bunch of it, it all adds up. When you buy fishing stuff also, don't forget that you can also sell the rods. And right here we have four pretty or five really good rods. These are gonna be, some of these are older, but this one's gonna be worth some money. This is a pen power stick and pen do make pretty good rods. I like to use them actually. And they're worth like $50, $60 a piece. I just sold one for $75. And this one I'm actually probably gonna keep. This is a Berkeley little rod and we're hopefully are going trout fishing soon. Mm. Yeah, trout fishing. And I might use this as a little trout rod. I'm not a trout fisherman, so I don't really know what we use, but I think that this is, will be a good trout rod maybe. I don't know. So one more also reel that I wanted to take a look at or a name if you guys are out looking at fish and there's a ton more like a th I mean I just the, the ones that I always look out for are Penn and Shimano and this is what the Shimano name looks like right there on the right. This is in working condition but the but the back of it's kind of corroded a little bit. So I think I can get like 40 or 50 bucks just for this one. So not terrible. And then don't discount like when people are like, hey, I'll give you a whole bunch of tackle because as you saw on my Instagram, if you're not following me on Instagram, go follow me at the Beard Thrift Machine and lead, like just regular weights like this. These big boy leads, they're worth some money because people will like melt these down and make their own jig heads or make their own weights. So, I mean, everything that has to do with fishing, 
that's quality is super expensive. There's a lot of trash fishing rods and reels. Like there's a couple in here that are like just Chinese made things that aren't really worth anything. Like this one and it's all broke and doesn't work. Not really worth anything at all. But there are some really good ones. So just always remember like Penn and Shimano. There's a ton more. Just do your research before you buy anything. But they're the ones that I always look out for. And then we also got this gigantic ball. Dinosaur egg. This could be. We don't know. It might be a dinosaur egg. Um, we're waiting for it to hatch. And we're going to put it under the lamps probably. Like maybe the lights that we have set up. And we'll keep you posted if it hatches into anything. Because we don't... There's something inside of it. We don't know what it is, dinosaur. but it's definitely going to be a, it could possibly be a dinosaur. We don't know. The guy just gave it to us and said he's found it floating in the ocean. Hence why we have it wrapped up. Yeah, we wrapped it up just in case yeah, something comes out of it. It'll be caught in the net before it actually comes out to eat us while we're sleeping. So that's all we got there. And we will be doing a $100 wood sold items in a second. All right, y'all, we're going to go over 10 items that have sold for me in the last 45 days over $100. So let's go ahead and get started. The first one is going to be a Tittman A5 paintball gun, and it came with the hopper and two barrels, and it sold for $106.25, and the buyer did pay shipping. This next one is going to be a Snap-on Flare Nut Line Wrench Set, five pieces. It has what they are right there, and it sold for $110 with free shipping, and shipping went in a padded flat rate for $7.91. This one I just talked about some fishing uh, reels. This in it right here is a Penn 7500 SS made in the United States uh, reel. Sold for $115 and the buyer did pay shipping. Sold extremely fast. This one is a vintage Kennedy machinist tool box. Uh, it's got two little drawers in it and a key. The key came with it. So that's always a plus and sold for $102 and the buyer did pay shipping. I put that up on bid. These right here are some Wilson, sta Wilson staff CI 11 black iron set for two pitching wedge and it was plus a G wedge and it also had a, it sold for $125 and the buyer did pay ship and I remember that the shipping was only like $15. This one here is a Cuisinart food processor. I got it for $5 at a yard sale and it sold for $115 and the buyer did pay shipping and it was like brand new, never used, just open box. This one was a vintage rare Davidoff gold tone lighter. So for $151.50 and the buyer did pay shipping. I, it was only a quarter at a yard sale. This one right here is a Storette number 223 micrometer with box. This one's really special just by the actual, if you find like a 223 one, it's a really small micrometer. So it went for $145 and the buyer did pay shipping. This right here is a swing trainer called a Temp Master, Tempo Master, it's called a Tempo Master. The Whippy, it has like a really little shaft on it and this thing was like super flexible. So if you're out there and you see a golf club with a tiny little shaft and it's really flexible, I would definitely run that comp because this sold for $103 and the buyer did pay shipping and I also put that up on bid. This were those Goble um, Nativity scenes. I know some people said they went for a lot of money. These went for $150 and the buyer did pay shipping and I did comp them out and that's about as much as I thought I could get out of them. And then I had a whole bunch of machinist tools that were in a toolbox and I didn't go through exactly every bit. So I threw it up on lot and took some really good pictures and it sold a bid for $161.38 and the buyer did pay shipping. So that's 10 really fast wood sold. As you saw, there was a whole bunch of machinist tools in there and golf stuff. So always look out for those. Things. I know this video has been all over the place, but hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully it's been educational. If you like this type of video, if you would, go ahead and subscribe, comment down below, and like the video. And you know I will catch you on the next one.